Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com. We've got a special project today really for two reasons. The first reason is that we're doing the wheels on a 2003 CTS. And the front passenger wheel, as well as some of the other wheels, have some pretty hefty curb rash on them. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and use the Plasti Dip to not only cover the texture of the curb rash, but the matte finish will hopefully conceal it a little bit as well. Um, at the end of the project, hopefully we'll have a smooth finish throughout the entire wheel, so I'll take you through that step by step. The second reason why this video is going to be interesting is because we're going to be showcasing the technique of doing uh, the wheels, plastic dipping the wheels while the wheels are still on the car. So I know you guys are familiar with the fact that we use plastic dip. A lot of the times we're taking the wheels off the car kind of makes things a little bit easier. Um, but right now, if you don't have the time or you don't have enough jacks to get the car up and get the wheels off, I'm going to show you how to get the, pla the wheels plasti dipped and get it done properly uh, with the wheels still on the car. So the first thing that's the most important thing is if you'll see inside the wheel, we've got the calipers and the rotors completely taped off with two or three inch blue painter's tape. So that's going to protect the calipers and the rotors from any of that overspray of the Plasti Dip. Now yes, the Plasti Dip will come off any of the surfaces, but obviously we want to try and keep that rubbery substance out of the brake mechanisms. So what we've got is we've got the wheel cleaned and prepped, we've got the rotors and the calipers taped off fully, and normally what we would do is we would have tape running around the outside of the tire here just to make cleanup a little bit easier. Now this customer came and the tires have been cleaned and they have that tire shine on them which is not going to bond with the adhesive of the painter's tape. So what we're going to do is we're going to spray them with a bare tire and then go back over and we'll just be able to peel it right off of the rubber of the tire and everything will come out nice and crisp. So I'm going to take you through this, the process step by step and uh, we'll hopefully we'll come out with a good result at the end. All right, we've got our Plasti Dip shaken up. We're gonna be spraying on our first layer. I know you guys have watched the, some of the other videos and some of the other instructionals. It's very important that your first layer is a light dusting. We're not trying to make, uh, you know, cover the entire wheel. We want at least a 50% transparency because the light dusting is gonna help the Plasti Dip bond to the wheel. So I'm gonna go in and we're gonna do our nice light dusting. You wanna make sure you get the lip of the wheel and everything covered. You want to be five, six inches away with a nice, clean sweeping motion. That's going to help you get that even texture at the end of the day. It's very important that when you're spraying a wheel that's still on the car, that you pay attention to the angles of the wheel. Because you're not looking straight down on it like you would be if the wheels were off the car. All right, we've got about four coats on. We've got the wheels uh, done up pretty well. The curb rash covered up really nice. Um, I just want to show you that we didn't, we weren't able to put any tape on the tires because of the tire shine. And, and that's actually really okay because as you can see, any of the overspray from the tire is just literally going to peel right off. I mean, it, you knew it was going to be simple, but it really is just that simple. Now, we've still got the tape on the rotors and the calipers. We want to make sure that this cures and dries really well before we reach in there and pull all that tape off because we don't want to bump into the edges and, and ruin the finish. So the next two steps are we're going to pull all the tape off of it. We're going to bring the car back three feet so we can see the, the wheel from another angle. We're going to spray any of the spots that we missed, and uh, it's good to go. Okay guys, we've got pretty much uh, everything finished here. We've got the grill done, etched out perfectly. We've got four nice clean coats on the wheels. We checked them, they look great. Um, make sure, you know, dipyourcar.com. You've got Plasti Dip there for the lowest prices you can find it anywhere. All the tools and tricks that you need to get the job done. Instructionals to walk you through any project. And if you need anybody, or if you need any help, email me. I'm extremely responsive to email inquiries. Fonzie at dipyourcar.com. I usually respond within an hour, regardless of what day or time it is. So. Uh, reach out to me, let me know. There'll be more videos and instructionals coming soon. Thanks.